Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I do a bit of lathe work. I make some thrust washers uh, for that pin I welded up the other week, the, the tractor mountain pin. A little bit of lathe work on that. Do some plasma cutting. I do a little bit of silver soling on some brass plate. Uh, things are slowly sort of settling down to some sort of normality now. Um, I mentioned the other week I was looking for another job. I've had three job interviews and I've been offered three jobs, so I'm in a bit of a dilemma as to what to do. Uh, there is one job fairly local and it will be four days a week, which is going to suit me because I can spend a bit more time in the shop, which is exactly what I want to do. I want to do the things that I want to do for a, for a while anyway. There'll only be one nightcap tonight, there was only one last week, um, basically that's all I, I feel like doing. I do enjoy my videos, it's not a bind, it's something that's actually motivating us and keeping us going uh, and I'm sure I'll eventually get back to my usual two nightcaps a week. I mean, people often say, John, why do you do two nightcaps? It's very simple. A lot of people don't want to sit and watch a 40 minute video, but then quite happily watch a 15 or a 20 minute video. The other thing is, I get twice the views and I get twice as much money, it's as simple as that. There's a few names come in for the draw, 15 or 20 names. Quite a steady flow, the bucket's getting fairly well filled up now. Um, if you're on in the draw, all you need to do is send me an email and all I need is your name, your full name, like John Mills, not just John. That's my email up there. Your name goes into the bucket, if it's drawn out, you win the prize, I post it off. Your name doesn't go back in to the bucket once you've won, but all these names do stay in. And they'll be there forever now, or at least forever, as long as I'm doing night caps, I suppose. These photographs show the paint that I weld up and machined, and the lad's got the new bronze bushes. Uh, hopefully you can see how it all goes together. What I've got to do now is make two spacer washers. We've measured up, and the washers need to be 57mm OD, a 38mm hole for the pin to go through, and 6.5mm thick. I've got a nice bit of steel in the lathe, well, probably be able to find two inside of that. about there. One more cut on the same centre should probably just about do it. Oh, 
one to a D down to 57, so 60 mil bar. So we 3 mil off that. for this outer edge and carefully I cut them seven and then I can turn them round and um, we face that edge. Seven mil. I need some more tip for the parking tool. This one's done a lot of work. It's the last one as well, I've run out for it. I've been sent in a high speed steel parting tool or parting blade and a hole now. I'm going to give that a try just to see what sort of. You turned the wrong wheel yet. I think we'll give it a try and see what it does. How I feel on it, which. Doing all right, Dad. Well, that's doing very well indeed. That's excellent. Very happy with that. bit more room to play with. Very 
simple tool but very effective. Six point five, six point eight six. And these sizes are super critical. Five. Just be able to get that just. Made exactly the, the same thing with this one. That's not a bad guess that, but that will push it dead true. I need to cut a, a star out of this piece of brass, a six inch star, and I haven't got a bit of brass big enough, so I'm going to try and join these two bits together. I've got a pack of rods here, I'm not quite sure what they were, that's something I got given. I'll try and melt the one, see what happens. But it's not putting out the horrible brass zinc smoke, so hopefully these will do the job. I have got silver solar, but it, it's expensive stuff to run into there. So the idea is to try and join these two bits of plate together. I put the camera a little bit closer so you can see exactly what I'm trying to do. I don't want to go near out with a tea torch because that will melt it. So I'll just use a flame and some raisin flux. I should be able to get my feet up with this, if I can't I'll use a oxypropane cutting torch. This is oxypropane, this flame. Put this in a solar into the, into the joint. It's going to take quite a bit of, a bit of heat to do with this. But And the flux is certainly melting into it, but there's uh, a bit more heat for the rod, I
I still think I've got a little peak here in the base so that'll yet. It's just a cosmetic thing with straw, but I still want to make it fairly strong. Certainly stuck it together. You can see it's a different material altogether. All I'm going to do is cut it out and polish it and see what it looks like, and it'll be all right. This is the, the back side of it. I think I'll run some down there, and we'll use this as the face for the for the star. I'm not too much to fill this in, so I'm going to use proper, proper silver solder on this bit. Bastard. This is the brass plate, I saw that together, you can see the filler material on the back. Then we'll turn it over and there's a little thin line of silver solder there. Unfortunately I didn't take any video of it being cut out on the plasma, but it certainly looks the part. It's, it looks old, it's supposed to look old, that's the idea. I didn't want it squeaky clean, you wanted it to look old. I put my name on the back and I've also put the date on. See the date there, I've had to use John Mills, date is MMXX1. I've had to use Roman numerals because I haven't got a two me letter stamp. <laughs> anyway, MMXX1 is 2021. Well, Google says it is, so it must be. Stainless steel star will cut out. That's worked quite nice that. Two mil stainless, very clean cut. And I use the Banggood burnishing tool to polish it up. I'm sure the lad will be very happy with that. It's like some sort of ninja throwing device, I suppose. Only to try and catch the bastard thing. I've been going through my dad's tools and gear. He's got a lot of a lot of gear being a, a very keen modeler. One thing I have kept is this Stanley drill. It's a double gear one than normally on your single gear. I mean, you can use a cordless drill, but these are very handy just with a little countersink in, just for the burn holes, get a nice feel of this. And every time I pick it up and countersink a hole, I'm going to think of my dad.
once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes and kind comments that have been coming in. Anyway, thanks for watching.